Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I'm Sarah Sutton. I'm an indie author of four young adult romance books, all linked down below, ranging from friends to lovers to fake relationships to second chances. If you like books about teenagers falling in love, you'll love my books. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be celebrating the one year anniversary of my YouTube channel's creation. So on this day, one year ago, I posted my very first YouTube video. It was my camp announcement video where I announced that I was doing Camp NaNoWriMo for that year and I was going to be documenting my process with vlogs, with weekly vlogs, and it kind of just launched an entire start to a new phase of myself in a way. Like I feel like this YouTube channel has made me so much more open. It's crazy. I'm still an introvert, <laughs> but, I, but it's still crazy to just kind of think back on the year and how many videos I posted and everybody who's joined along the way. In fact, let's look at those analytics together. Before we hop in totally, don't forget to like the video. It really does help me out. And tap that subscribe button if you haven't already because I'm posting a lot of videos in April because April is, again, Camp NaNoWriMo. And I'm going to be documenting my process. Today, I'm going to be reacting to my very first vlog. I actually already reacted to my very first video when I hit 1,000 YouTube subscribers. So instead of reacting to that again, because I don't think my reaction is going to change much, I'm going to react to my very first vlog, which was my very first Camp NaNoWriMo vlog. And if you guys know me, I'm all about the vlogs these days. I love my vlogs. I just think they're so fun to, you know, I think they're just so fun to just document and share. And I'm, and I haven't looked back um, really yet, so I'm really excited. But actually, let's pull up my um, YouTube analytics for the past year. So this is the past 28 days. Um, when I'm filming this, it is actually the 26th. Um, so it's gonna be a little bit off, but we're still gonna look at these analytics together. So as you can see, your channel got 88,272 views in the last 365 days. So 88.3k views, 14.7k watch hours, and a total of 1.8, well te technically, total of 1,783 subscribers. And you can see that the estimated revenue is $515 since I was monetized in October. So that's kind of how my YouTube is doing at the moment. Um, and you can see that this is a nice progression. You see how it started off as like five views, 81 views, um, and it kind of just slowly goes up. I don't, this was a big spike. We love big spikes. Um, and yeah, so I, I think it's so fun. It's so fun to look at analytics like this. I love it when YouTubers go back and through their analytics. I love to like see the process and see the growth. You can see that my top video is 2,394 views and that is my writer's office shed tour. For the longest time, the top video was my Midnight Sun review and I'm like, okay, it doesn't have to be this one. Um, and then my a vlog is my third top um, video, which is kind of exciting. I, I love the vlogs, you guys. I love the vlogs. But those are my analytics for a year on YouTube. Some people might not think that's crazy. Some people think, I think that's insane. I never thought in a year I would be at um, 1,783 subscribers. Never. Um, so that's really fun. But let's head over to the content. So you can see this is my first ever writing video. Camp NaNoWriMo announcement. Wow. Um, but this one is my first day in the life of a self-published author and I am very curious to see how it goes so let's let's watch it guys yes I do like my own videos always be your first supporter <laughs> okay 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 so right off the bat I'm looking at this intro and I made this with some app I don't know what it was. Wasn't my favorite thing in the world. I do like the song though. The song kind of takes me back to that moment in time where I'm just like, ooh. Hey guys, it's me, Sarah Sutton. It's me! I'm an indie author of my young adult friends. I look so little! As well as the author of my upcoming fake relationship romance, Out of My League. Does my mouth look wider there to you? Or is that just me? Yellow? 
Oh my gosh, look at my, look at my, um, my, my background. <gasps> my wallpaper, but this wall is not book pages. My posters are over there and the out of my league one is still covered up. That's so cute. Okay, sorry. You can find both of those links down in the description box of this video. Oh. Welcome back to my channel. So today, I still do that. Well, sometimes when I when I think about it. Welcome back. Welcome. Oh, I love that. Okay. What I'm going to be doing is a whole lot of nothing. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you a day in my life. What I do, what I don't do. I'm so uncomfortable in this clip. Not like in a bad way, but like in a way that I'm getting used to my confidence with recording. Um, on this, I can tell by the quality I'm on my phone, which is fine. Um, I had problems with my phone with transferring them over to iMovie, so that's actually why I got my camera, um, because I couldn't figure out why my phone was not downloading the clips correctly, so that's why I changed it. But I feel like my hairs are the same. Maybe it's a little bit longer now. I don't know. Let's keep going. Um, today is kind of a boring day, so hopefully... Story of my life. Bear with me, but... Story of my life. undercover look of... How I work, where I work, and what I'm working on. So hopefully okay. you find that interesting. <gasps> videos knows? to look forward to. I am currently filming a beta reading video on the topic of how I beta read and I think how I have I that exact that pen feedback. in my hand. As well as a why I self publish video and what I do it again. Spoiler fun. alert: I have a book coming out in June, and that one's self published. So would I do it again? Yes. But yes. Um, <laughs> if you want more in depth look on my self-publishing journey, you can find that in that video. Heck yeah! Um, when it's live, I'll link it. Yay! And let's get into it. Let's get into okay, it! guys, Woo! I'm in a different spot right now, and my voice is a little bit... And this is another reason why I switched to a camera, because this is still my phone, and you can see that the, um, the quality just kind of is weird. And I had a decent phone at this time, so I think my phone just was not... It just was... I don't know. But, okay. I'm filming in my bedroom, my... Very, very messy bedroom. It's just nothing's changed. So that means my 24 hour day in my life vlog starts now. Ooh. So, what I'm doing now is I'm going to be what putting shirt my phone am I wearing? down because I was playing um, a game on my phone. I'm going to be putting my phone down and then I'm going to be going through my If the Room Fits YA Halloween Love Story and I'm getting I'm started it. on. Okay, cool. Process for editing really <gasps> differs look every at my single time that I edit. Kids were cute and all, but they were um, so flipping loud. This time, also, oh, look at all those tabs. Do is I'm just going to go through and go line edits first, which seems so backwards because it definitely is backwards. I'm going to be doing what draft is first, it? and when I come across big things that I want to change, I'm going to jump in them oh, and change them. And then work my way from there because I do like the overall structure of the story, but I know there's going to be a few things. Oh. So it is about one forty. Oh, now. look at those like Einstein scientist glasses. They are very circular. The uh, eyeglass people try to talk me out of them. They said that the circular ones, when I have when you have eyesight as bad as mine, <laughs> the circular glasses make the lens crazy. They try and talk me out of it. I didn't listen to them. I think they look fine. I think they would have been much better if they were like a brown, not such a stark black. They got to chapter three. <laughs> look at those eyebrows. Oh, good progress. Sarah. I'm tired. I have my pajamas, glasses on. It is bedtime. Why are you saying the, the obvious? To get up and to get breakfast with my dad. And I don't know. We wake up early for breakfast because he has breakfast early. So I'm not sure okay. if I will just nap after that or not. Let's be honest. We know she's napping. You will see. Either way, good night, and I will see you in the morning. Okay. It's one o'clock. Yeah, it's me. Twelve hours later, but don't worry, you didn't miss a thing. I had breakfast <laughs> with my dad, showered, got... Does anybody care? Got toilet paper from the store. Does anybody care? I'm back. I'm going to be painting my fingernails because we all know they need it. And then I have my Same. live stream today at 3 o'clock because that's in like two hours. So probably not much editing going to be going on. Live stream today is a plan with me live stream. And I always usually get a lot done for those. Cool, so Sarah. fingers crossed. And maybe afterwards I will work on some editing. I have a proofread to do as well as a beta read of other people's work. And then I want to do my own stuff. So okay. I think we're going to have a busy day ahead of us. <gasps> I love this clip. Live stream is over and I had so much fun. I always have such an amazing time 
um, on those things. Yes, you do. And I love you talking to people and interacting with people. And that's not changed. My big, big heart. Why was there a cut there? Just super talking to people and interacting with people, and it just warms my big, big heart. Why was there a cut? It's super funny because I'm an introvert, but you know, it is funny. Um, so if you are watching this and you joined that live stream. Thank you. So now... At this point, I think I was only doing live streams. Very, very few live streams. I was not doing my YouTube live streams yet. I don't think. I don't think that started until... That's a, let's see. My first live stream was. My first live stream was April 17th um, at 9 p.m. Wow. And this is posted on April 3rd, so... Now we need to get into editing mode. So I've got a lot to do. I have got... One client that needs to have her, her manuscript proofread by Monday. I want to get it done by Sunday night because I just like getting things done a day early and sending it in a day early because, you know, you're more surprised and happily surprised that way. And Seems so legit. And get that done, that's... That's actually not why. At least not now. I mean, I, I get it done a day early because sometimes on Fiverr, um, it'll say it's due, say, March 28th, but it's due at, like one in the morning on March 28th. So I always like to get it done the day before just in case that is the instance where it's due at a time where I'll be like sleeping or you know what I mean? Cause it, say, it says it's due on the 28th, which it technically is, but it's due in like the early hours of the morning cause I don't have any time to work on it the 28th. No one else is probably gonna think this. And I mean, I still struggle with this. But do y'all see how uneven my eyebrows are? Like, it, 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 it's always like this. I never know why. But one is always, like, taller than the other. But I'm, like, just not able to stop staring at it right now. And then after I get why a good that? chunk of that done, it's time for my stuff. I'm gonna move over to my couch now because look at that. Or my sofa, my chair, my chair. Look at that. Or that. Wow. Oops. Oh, what? There you go. That should have been cut. Or that. That's cozy, too. Which it is way? cozy. Find out in a second. Oh, that was cheesy. What should I pick? Find out in a second. You shouldn't just been like, what should I do? Cut to you on the sofa. Also, why did I choose a sofa? I like the chair way more. The lounge. Originally. Oh, see, that's another thing. Did you see that? Let's go back and we'll see if it happens again. Cozy too. What should I pick? Find out in a second. I picked the lounge. You see that little glitch? That was another thing that happens. And I don't know how to fix it. So I just bypassed it entirely. Lounge. Originally, I had picked the chair, yeah. but when I set you up, I realized you could, in plain sight, see my book cover for Out of My League. And since I don't know when this video is... Where would it have been? Where would the poster have been that they could have seen it? I'm going to pull up. I must not have covered it yet. Sorry. Look, there's me in time-lapse form. I remember being so self-conscious on this time-lapse clip because I was like, oh my gosh, my, my, my posture looks terrible and my, the way I'm slouched, I look terrible, you know? And I'm like, you know what? Screw it. I'm happy with myself. That's all that matters. No one's coming here for how I look. They're coming here for my writing. Hopefully, anyway. If you're coming here for my looks, thanks. I should have cut the... White noise. I hate that sound. Yep. Got the potato soup. Got the content belt. I haven't had potato soup in so long. So it is a while later. It is. The music was a little loud, Sarah. And I took a nap. Once I finished. Told ya. Or once I got to page 100 of my proofread, I laid down. I had a killer headache, and I don't know if it's from the weather. I'm looking at my screen so much lately. Probably not. I lay down. So that's why my makeup is probably a little bit crazy. Who cares? Why? Well, I'm a little. I took a nap today. My makeup looks. Who cares? Don't care, Sarah. Me the same wonderful you. Oh, disheveled just because I. Don't took care. A nap. Don't worry I about it. I still have a few hours after the day. Um, so, no, that poster like is covered. So, why did it. Why, what? What? No, I don't know. It doesn't matter. Midnight, for sure. Midnight, for sure. Snap. Um, cool. So. You'll Wait a second, what did I just say? Midnight. But I still have a few hours after the day, um, and I'm definitely going to be up until midnight, for sure, with this nap. Um, it sounded like I don't usually stay up till midnight. Was this back when I didn't stay up till midnight? So... Is my chin look pointy yeah, in that clock? Hopefully I'll get some things done today. I'm so subdued. That leaves me time tonight. Why is to that? work on beta reading I a little bit. Maybe 20 minutes. And then maybe a chapter of my homework. 
Usually did I don't we just have zoom in? Work of that, and then maybe chat. It did. Work. Why? Usually I don't have client work. That's interesting. Why is client work a rarity for you? I was doing client work consistently last year. And we'll go from there. I feel like this day in life as a writer is kind of boring. But at least I'm keeping it on track where I only talk about writing stuff. Now, I just talk about anything. Um, mostly because I'm really boring. On the day that I update all my things to... <laughs> voice hopefully sound. as time progresses, I will become better at this vlogging thing because... Hopefully I did. Let me know in the comments. But like, don't say anything negative, okay? <laughs> I sucked today. Yeah, hey guys, story it's all of my just life. clips of me saying what's coming next. But story. You know, it is midnight. It is after midnight, so there's no next. So what I got what? accomplished today is not a lot. Midnight is I think your it might prime have been time. If I hadn't have gotten that headache and had to have taken a nap, I did hit both of my goals. Sweet. So I'm on page 178 of Ooh, my page. Ooh, we, we thought 150. 272 pages. Sarah. So I've got just you know I did some last night. Sarah, and you're I'm losing me. I'm going to be doing a lot more tonight, but that's okay because I did. I got that live stream done. I got some reading in and. I just feel like it was a very productive day overall. Your skin yes, looks great, I didn't girl. Get to work on my I think things. you got makeup on still. Yes, I took a nap today, and that really screwed up my productivity. But yeah, but that's alright. It was just a good Naps day. Naps are great. And I think that live stream really got me. I know a lot of people don't really like vlogs, but since sorry, came in and what was coming up. There's going to be a lot of vlogs, but I'll try to balance them out between vlogs and normal videos. Normal videos. Sarah, all videos are normal videos. Sit down videos is what you want to say. However, I will say, I enjoy the vlogs way more than the sit down videos because I've gotten all of my tips videos out of the way or my how I beta read. You know, I've got all those videos filmed already, so I have no ideas for sit down videos. And it just makes more sense to vlog. And there you have it a day in the life of Sarah May Sutton boring right usually i do more usually i work on my own stuff more but you caught me on a day where <laughs> i was just... what was the... you caught me on a day what did they just stumble into my house to watch i don't think they caught me doing anything you chose that day dude working on other people's things client stuff what the heck? um so hopefully that was still a little bit entertaining and i can always make a video going more in depth on what my client work looks like i never did that that's been pretty fun like i, don't I could have saved it for a day where i'm doing more stuff but i wanted to save those kinds of days in the life more for camp in a rhymo mine's in the comments so you gotta go find it to check it out thanks for watching <laughs> i should have cut that <laughs> let's watch it again genre to read mine's in the comments so you gotta go find it to check it out this part Thanks for watching, <laughs> and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Oh, oh. I don't usually film it. I, um, I forgot. That was hilarious. I think my whole life is like gag real worthy. <laughs> okay, dokey then. Okay, dokey then. The funny thing is. Nope. The funny thing is, is my, I I don't do these gag reels anymore. Because I just keep them in the vlogs now. <laughs> Let's look at some comments. So Nikita, I love watching your process and taking a peek into your life. You're such a wonderful ray of sunshine. Oh, Nikita, that's really sweet. Pixie's seriously loving these videos. Oh my gosh. Aww. That was actually not as bad as I thought it was going to be. So yeah, guys, a year in review, my first vlog, and oh my gosh, 218 uploads at one point or another, 87,000 views, 1,783 subscribers. Thank you to everybody who has joined me on this journey and who has encouraged me from the very beginning. It is so freaking exciting that we are here and it's been a year it has been a year that's crazy so much happens in a year and there's just so much growth in a year we've published four books um we've continued to upload on youtube do live streams and fun things have happened in a year and it's just uh, it's so exciting and thank you to everybody who has been along with me on this journey and 
who has just, like I said, supported and liked and commented and shared the YouTube videos because it does help out my channel and it helps me get to this moment today. You guys got me to 1,000 subscribers. I would not have been able to do it without you. You guys got me monetized. You guys have been there for me through it all and I can't thank you enough. Fun things are in store. We've got more books, we have more vlogs, more live streams. Um, so if you're not subscribed, you definitely should subscribe to keep following on this journey. And the one thing I like the most about this channel is that I'm sharing my journey, but you guys are also telling me about yours in the comments. And it's just fun to like look back on these comments and see how far you guys have come. And I'm just so excited to see where we end up in another year from now. <sighs> it's crazy and I love it. So thank you to everybody who has watched, liked, commented, all those grand things. What a fantastic year it's been. All right, guys, that is the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to tap that like button, tap that subscribe button, and turn on those bell notifications so you never miss an upload from me. I'm Sarah Sutton. I'm an indie author of four young adult romance books, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Happy one year.